Hey guys, welcome back. So about to dive into another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is episode number 33, The Northern Wall of Briggs. Where basically the brothers are heading north, everyone's got a mission to accomplish, and the plot is moving forward really well. So one of the interesting things I got out of last episode was Major Armstrong giving Ed and Al a letter to hand over to his sister in the north. So we've got another Armstrong, so I'm wondering if she's going to be just like the female version of him. I'm very curious to find out. So as you know, this is a timer-based reaction, so grab your copy and watch along. I also have an early release and exclusive content over on my Patreon. So let's just get into the episode. 3, 2, 1, go. Episode 32. Halfway there. Is that right? It's like 64 episodes? How many have I got left? There we go, 36 left. 36 episodes. This app is so handy, man. It keeps track of all your shows. It tells you what you're up to, a synopsis about it, and how many you have left. 34 episodes left after this one. Wow. So not even really halfway. Wow, epic journey, man. Feels like every episode's getting more and more epic. How are you today? You good? Just like to check in. What's the weather like in your country right now, wherever you are? It's cold and wet and rainy here in Sydney. Winter. Australia gets very cold. It's very extreme. Very hot or very cold. Although we don't get a lot of rain. Which sucks, all the farmers really desperately need it. I don't know why I'm talking about weather. Let's move on. Alka history, that's the key to everything. I love how we get a catch up. <laughs> Crimson Alchemist. Where has Scar gone? Probably, I'd say yes. Hmm. So everyone's going north. Everyone's heading up the coast. Look at those landscapes. You can just see the, the painting brush strokes almost. So good. The Crimson Alchemist. I can't believe I got confused with him and, and Envy or Greed a few episodes ago. Tracks. Yeah, Scar did something. Ah. Uh. Those funny little rectangular grooves. The Northern Wall of Briggs. Mm. 
We're going on an adventure. Let's go, Al. I suppose I've never seen snow before. Oh, careful, mate. I've done that before. It hurts your ass. It really does. Once upon a time. Wow. That's cheating though. Making a snowman with alchemy. Where's the fun in that? Shut up! I really do like the, the relationship of the brothers in this. They're really tight. And he's, oh, I just bit my tongue. And his face. <laughs> the perils of live recording. So, but he had his face fucked up by, by a scar. Poor, poor old Marco. I'm okay, by the way. It was just a little nibble. I'm fine. You know, it's always a shock, though, when you bite your tongue. Don't you hate that? Marco's fucked up like he's shivering, it's freezing cold. Sore face. Been abducted. Poor guy. I wonder if they'll ever show it. Sure they will. Morbidly curious. So everyone's heading north. We're all bound to meet up again. Uh oh. Don't lose your hat. He's going to lose his hat. No, he's holding it pretty tight. We're going to have a fight. Scar's going to Scar's going to jump out at him. Oh, this is Scar. Right behind you. Oh shit. That's not Marco. That's the guy. What? Decoy. Motherfucker. Gonna have a standoff. Murderer. 
Whoa. He pissed. The animation looked incredible then. Where the hell is Marco? Ah. Oh. <laughs> He's stuck. Oh, the animation is so good. And I keep saying that, but it keeps just impressing the hell out of me every single time. He's got a great memory. Wow. Mocking a dude about killing your brother, not cool. He's blinded with rage right now. <laughs> you think? Mm-hmm. I told you he's gonna lose the hat. Freaking told you. Ooh, ow. Oh. Just when he was thinking to himself that he needs to kind of think smart about this, he's impaled. No. Uh -oh. And just like that, he's getting away with a bad injury. I really love the voice acting. It's so good. Everyone, everyone was 100% right saying I should check out the dub version. Although I know not having the subtitles has put a lot of people off, but so be it. This is so good. You sure did. Go back and get him. Or die. Shit, they're going to have to back up. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, no. He don't want to stop. Oh, he's out. <laughs> what do you think happened? That's very, very twisted, my friend. He's going to be a pr uh, pretty big threat. The Crimson Alchemist who is not, who is not greed. I don't know why, I don't know. Here's his Marco. They swapped. Oh. He fucked up. Wow. So they swapped Tricky.
I love how the, the panda bear's head is just right at her neck like a little bow tie. Oh, Miss Armstrong. Rush Valley, we're going to see Winry. Here she is, best girl. <laughs> Fantastic. What? Oh no, he's getting sick. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone who sees him just assumes it's just a big guy in armor. But what does that mean though? You you should be all right. What are they going to encounter? I love how my theories are, are always so wrong about this show. Oh, that looks miserable. I'm already cold. This is not helping. What? 15 foot tall beer? Beer? Oh, beer. Bear? What? Words again. What the hell? This looks like an Armstrong. Jesus. It's bigger than a bear. Caught. Could be one of, one of Armstrong's men. Looks like a big can opener. It's cold, man. Oh, he's freezing up. It's not weatherproof. He's gonna chop his arm off? Oh, no! Not working. Oh, don't wreck. Oh, don't wreck his head. <laughs> the helmet. Shit. Feels like we're in a Bond film all of a sudden. Where did that come from? Here she is.
There she is, his sister. Mm hmm. Olivier. Older sister. She's looking good. Got a letter, dude. The letter. Ha, <laughs> surprise. Mm hmm. My sister. Oh, don't. Why? Fair enough. Is she tough? So they couldn't see it before because of all the snow? <laughs> wow, she means business. Oh, so she's a bear. <laughs> it's a little rabbit. The wall. Man, she's mean. I suppose you, you need to be if you're going to be the commander of a, a stronghold. But she's very different to Armstrong, Alex. He's a big, big bear of a man, but he's a big puppy dog. Where she's smaller, but she's a bear. Wow. I'm just glad we spent, we got to spend some time with Wenry for like a minute. It, that's why they give us Winry in the credits, just to remind us that she's in the show. It's funny, like like I said in the opening, it's cold here in Sydney, so watching all those blizzard-type conditions in the show, actually, I felt it, man. I was like, ooh, I'm feeling the chill. Oh, and the... The Marco switcheroo, what the hell got me? It really did. the end so once again i don't know if there's going to be a little bit after the credits so i'll get you guys to let me know down below in the comments because like i said when i prepared these for viewing i just ended it at the credit not knowing there was going to be sometimes a little bit extra i've already been called out a few times but thank you for telling me though okay good app so marco the whole thing for a minute there when i was revealed to be the other guy with the mustache and i for forgive me i've forgotten his name i was thinking for a moment shit maybe marco is dead and he's just been fooling everyone. But no, Marco was with May, which is cool. So, moving forward, everyone is heading north. So, there's going to be some kind of meetup. They're all going to catch up with each other, and there's going to be some shit go down, for damn sure, because you can't all be in the same location, heading the same way, without everyone just crossing paths again. And Olivier Armstrong, she seems very cool, very stern. I think she might warm up to the boys eventually, but right now she is quite ferocious and quite intimidating. And like I said, smaller than her brother, big of character. Like she is just as big a character type as her brother is with all his posing and stuff. I think she's going to be making quite an impression. So like I said, I've seen the previous version of this show on Netflix and there was no mention of this character, May, 
at all because that show deviated away from the manga at one point because it caught up. So it's really exciting to me to be still meeting all these new characters. So it's still a lot of fun to be sitting here and just being swept away by the show and constantly surprised. That's what it does. Anyway, I'm going to do another episode in a minute, so I'll catch you all next week. Thanks for watching.